Hey you guys, I hope you have a very blessed Easter today. So prior to making this video, I prayed and asked God, what do I say, Lord? Tell me what I should say. Put the words in my mouth. So I'm just going to say what's on my heart. I'm so concerned over so many people that I've interacted with on my channel. And I want you guys to know, you know what? God's here. He's not left us just because we're hunkered down and locked up like animals. He hasn't left us. God loved his son and he allowed his son to go through some horrible stuff and get betrayed by those he loved, hung on the cross and suffered a grisly death. And he did that for all of our sins, you guys. That's how much he loves us. But three days later, his tomb was empty and he showed himself and he did that for a purpose. And when he came back from the dead and he showed himself to those he loved, he told them, go tell everybody, you've seen me. We're to know he is the living God. When we pray and ask forgiveness, we need to know he's right here with us. He's not dead, rotten in a tomb somewhere, a pile of dust. He is alive and I praise God for it. And if you want to know God, all you have to do is this. Confess your sins. Invite Him into your spirit. Acknowledge that He died on the cross and rose from the grave. That He is the King of Kings. Heavenly Father, I confess my sins to you. I invite you into my spirit. I want to love you as you love me. I want to walk the path that you've chosen for me, not the one that I've chosen for myself. Please forgive me of my sins, Lord. Thank you for sending your son to die for me, to save me from eternal death. I choose this day to enter into my covenant with you and to place Jesus at the center of my heart. I surrender to him as Lord over my whole life. And in the name of Jesus, I ask these things and pray. Amen. If you said that prayer, I'm so thankful. I'm so happy for you. It doesn't make us perfect. I love to gossip. You guys know that. I just want you guys to know that we're not alone, even though it might feel like it. And that's where the worry and the concern that I have for the viewers of my channel. I spoke with some of y'all, read some of your comments, and it just broke my heart. There was one in particular, and I'm not going to say your name. And if this applies to you, then it's you. When everything started going haywire due to the lockdown, Everyone's losing the jobs. The hours are being cut back. You made a comment, and it worried me terribly. I've thought about it every day since. I've prayed over you, and I want you to know everything's going to be okay. I don't come for money either. I can't go to my dad and ask for, you know, enough money to get me through. I get it. It's hard. I may not know you on a personal level, but you're super important to me. I care about you very much. You have a beautiful spirit. You love your dogs so much. Those dogs love you and depend on you. They need you. All we have to do is trust that God's going to take care of us, and He is. And it doesn't mean it's going to be smooth sailing. We're going to hit some rough patches. But we just have to keep our faith. That's all. So let's trust and believe this is going to end soon. Everything's going back to normal, and we're going to be okay. I'll see you soon, and we'll talk fast. Y'all stay safe and be blessed.